I, was, I get home from work the other day. I'm like, let's go to the beach. It's like I always got to fight to go do something. I come, th- I come through the door. Everybody's loafing around the house. I'm like, come on, let's get at it. My son's, it's a beautiful day out. My son's sitting there with his neck twisted on the couch, watching the TV, watching Blippy on TV. My wife's cleaning, like always. It's like nonstop cleaning. On this woman's day off, all she does is clean. This is, you understand the type of insanity? You got two people... Listen, this... You got people that are neat freaks, and you got people that are complete dirtbags. And either side of the spectrum is unhealthy. It's nice to be right down the middle. You understand? I mean, we're talking... We're, she's pulling out the oven to clean behind the oven. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Who does that? God, out of, when it comes to cleaning with me, out of sight, out of mind. My Christ. I don't care if there's a den of rats living back there, as long as I don't see them. That's, tr- that's the truth. Mice could live very happily in my house, just don't let me see you. And even at that, I don't mind mice. They're cute. Come on. Little mouse running across the baseboard every once in a while. That's not bad. As soon as you start nibbling on my, on my toes while I'm sleeping, then we got a problem. All right? Well, I let you fucking hang out. Now you're gonna nibble on my toes. Anyhow, I come in. I'm like, come on, let's get it. Let's get out of this fucking coffin. Can we go to the beach? So it's like a big ordeal to get everybody out of the house. You, you, we got to pack a cooler. I got to take a shower. I, da, 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 I, by, by the time we go, it's like 5 o'clock at night. Get down to the beach. I don't know. I, listen, going to the beach for a dad is such a fucking nightmare. Because it's like, once you get out of the car, you turn into a fucking pack mule. They're loading a cooler on you over here. You're holding all the beach chairs. You got to hold the toys. I'm bringing my boogie board. Just in case. You got the fucking radio hanging off of you. Whose phone are you bringing? Anyhow. We get down to the beach. And I, I gotta tell you right now. We get all set up. I sit down to relax. And what happens to me... Every time I go to the beach... It's inevitable. It's like... All of a sudden, the, the, the fucking... Like seven college girls from the sorority come and pitch, pitch their fucking uh, d- their tent right next to me. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? So now I got to sit in my beach chair with like blinders on. Now I can't even turn my head. Because now my wife's looking at me like prison warden. And then the next thing you know, they have a couple drinks over there. And it's like, oh... Hey, hey, Janet, how far do you think you can stuff this banana down your throat? And I'm sitting there like, uh, honey, do we have any Pringles? <sighs> okay, twerk contest. It's like, what the fuck? <sighs> you, you hear it out of the corner here. Who do you think has the best ass for, for twerking? And I'm like, Chrissy! I'm I'm just going to snap one day. And I get the old, what are you looking at? I'm not, uh, the, uh, the the fucking uh, garbage barge passing by. That's what we got, that's what we have to look at at the beach. Robert Moses, Long Island, New York. You're sitting at the beach and what goes by? The fucking garbage barge. Yeah. There it is, steaming away from Manhattan. Fucking seagulls flying all over it like a like, like a big swarm. That's what that's the view we have. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the trash barge passed by, honey. 
Why? What? What's going on? They're, they're having a fucking. Uh, who could squat down further? Who's the most? They're having the who's the most flexible contest over there. What is going on? The cameras come out. Oh my god. I can't take it anymore. And then we go up. Then you know we pack everything up. We go up, and my I love it. My wife goes, "We got because you got to wash every inch of sand off your body. God forbid we walk into the house with with." And a crumb of sand falls on the floor. She takes my son over to the fucking... I go to I tell, go to the bathroom to take a piss. I come out. My son... They, she's got my son underneath the water spigot there. He's completely naked. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? There's thousands of people around. He, that, then she comes in and she's walking him back over to the picnic bench. Completely naked. I almost had a fucking panic attack. I'm sitting there, I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. She's drying them off with the towel. Oh, my God. I got his little nuts hanging out. Listen, it's one thing. My kid, well, you got to understand something. It's like, if my son was tan, which he's not. He's like me. He's very white. He's very pale. And for some reason, when you're pale and naked, it's like you're twice as naked as somebody that's tan and naked. You get it? He's walking over. He's got his little purple head swinging back and forth. I'm like, I could cover this kid up. For Christ's sake. And I don't know about you, but when I see a naked kid, like if, I'm, if that's not... If I'm at the beach and somebody's got their naked kid up there, I'm like, whoa, Jesus Christ. Because, you, listen, you want to look because it's funny. And naked kids are funny. But you don't want to look because I feel like I have this phobia. Like, people are staring at me like, is he looking? And I'm like, no, I'm not looking. Like, you don't know what kind of fucking people are out there today. It's like you can't even look at a naked kid anymore. What? <laughs> what the Just stop bringing the kid out naked. My God. Because I understand he's making everybody else uncomfortable. Because I would be uncomfortable. Christ. And my son, he comes out, he takes a bath with my wife. And sometimes I'm like dozing off on the couch. The first thing he does when they get out of the bathroom, he comes running over to me, stark naked. And he tries teabagging me. Like, he comes, I, all of a sudden, I, I like, I, I hear something. I open up my eyes and I see this fucking little nutbag coming down at my face. I'm like, are you? I'm like, get that shit out of here! What is it about that? I didn't teach him how to do that. I thought teabagging was something that came out of like the frat house at a college. You know, if somebody passes out from drinking, you lower your balls on their face. Yeah, I thought I thought that was like a recent thing, like since the '90s. And then I realized, oh my god, this has been going on since the beginning of time. Cause where did he learn how to do that? And it's the first thing he wants to do. It's teabag me when he comes out of the shower. I'm like, this is fucking unreal. This is a little monkey. <laughs> what is it, a dominant thing? Like, I'm going to dominate daddy? That's what teabagging is, right? I'm going to dominate you. I see this little uh, fucking grape nutbag coming at me. Like, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that thing. Fucking crazy kid. My God. I'm like, if this is going on at home, what the fuck is going to happen when he goes to school? Anyhow. I can just hear it now. I'll get the phone call from the teacher. You know, your son's teabagging in the playground. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Well, I, I, 
by the time he's old enough to be in school in, in a school playground, I'm going to be so zonked out on weed. I can't wait to go to parent teacher conference, conference night. It's going to be like, your son, yeah, your son's pulling down his pants. He's taking a shit inside the trough sink in the bathroom. I'm going to be like, I don't know, what are you going to do with these kids? They're like, well, don't you have something to say? The cafeteria open? All right. Here we go. What are we doing here? Got another thing here coming from Germany. I mean, look, look. Come on, man. I see Germany on the package. Germany on the label. Boner under the table. That's all I have to say. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is straight from... Wow, look at this. This is great. Straight from Strictly Limited Games over in Germany, right? We love Strictly Limited, right? No sponsorships here. Yes, on the show. Of course not. God forbid. It's Raging Justice. And I mean, come on, just look at the cover art, people. You kidding me? We got a, we got like a uh, Streets of Rage, right? Type theme going on here. With the, uh, almost like the Genesis grid in the back. Look at that guy's face. Ah, uh, come on. Here we go. It's a beat-em-up. Yeah. 2D style scrolling beat-em-up. Like I, I guess, like a Streets of Rage, like a, like a, like a a Double Dragon, right? But with updated graphics. I'm in. Here we go. The city is in chaos. Crime and corruption is at an all-time high. With thugs wreaking havoc on every corner, it's up to you to punch, kick, and brawl your way through the deadly streets to bring those punks to justice. Raging Justice is a modern take on 2D scrolling brawler. That pulls the classic game genre kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Jam-packed with bone-crunching combat, devastating weapons. ba 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 zippity boo ba I'm in! You kidding me? How many megs? That's what I want to know. How many megs? Bring it back, PS4. Come on. sip of coffee. That's it. And here we go, coming to us all the way from Brooklyn, New York.
Every let me tell you something about every every Italian that I ever met that came from Brooklyn. We're, we're talking about old school Italians from Brooklyn, right? We're talking about Italians now that are in like their seventies. Okay, I met them all, like my like friends' fathers and whatnot. Sometimes these guys they speak with like all their words it they put J in front of it. Like my buddy Anthony, his father would come in and like, hey, what are you doing? Ah, I was cutting down the tree with the Jane jaw. <laughs> I swear to God, he actually said that. I'm like the Jane jaw. Yeah, I was cutting down the tree with the Jane jaw. What do you got? What you got? What you got there on your arm? Jai juice? <laughs> I swear, this guy is priceless. This guy, he, every time. My my friend Anthony used to go crazy. His father would come in like after working outside, and he'd get a, he'd get like some anything to drink. It was cold water, anything, iced tea. He'd come in. He go like this every single time. He used to crack me up. He used to take a sip. He go like this. So thirsty. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the great thing about Long Island. We got a lot of old school people that came from originally from Brooklyn and then came out to the island to make a life for themselves. And I got news for you. People from Brooklyn are a different breed. They're just a different breed of person. It's like people from Queens. I could tell people from Queens, I can tell people from Brooklyn. I, I talked to a guy the other day. He came up to me. He started talking to me. I said, you're from Queens, aren't you? He goes, yeah, I am. I used to live in Queens. I, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. That's a real resume stuffer, right? Here we go. Got this fucking package here. Jesus H. All right. This is coming from, oh my God. Ship to Shore. The Ship to Shore Phono Company. You ready for this? I got on their website. I was like, Ship to Shore? What do they sell? Like, uh, you know, fishing boat bells or something? I don't know. I go to their website, all right? And number one, okay, you ready for this one? Don't ask me why, just don't ask me. It's Zombie 2 uh, Beyond. Two classic, uh, who's this guy? Fucci, Fucci, you know, the Italian guy, Fabrizio, Fabio Frizzi. I don't know what's going on here. Remember this movie, The Beyond? I don't know about you, but I got it on DVD back when I was a kid, and I used to watch this movie over and over and over again. It's not a good movie, but it has moments, do you understand? And it has this... <laughs> I'm sorry, the, the theme music is horrible. It's horrible. But it has this bass line in it. It's almost like... Porn music for horror movies. Should we put it that way? Yeah. And I remember watching the horror movie and thinking to myself, who did it? They get to play the bass. Who's playing the bass during this movie anyhow? And it just, just stuck in my head. This, it had this bass sound. Like some guy's playing the bass while these spiders are eating this person alive. I don't know how to explain it. But it always used to crack me up. So when I saw that they actually made the soundtrack for Zombie 2 Beyond, two classic film themes. So what do we got here? Two th I don't know what's going on. Very confusing record here. I just had to have it. I don't know. It's something that you put on during like a, a really important event. 
I remember my buddy was having an engagement party. <laughs> it was a real like <sighs> It was a nice event like on the water and whatnot. And it, this is back when he had the CD carousel upstairs. And so the CD carousel was going and that was the music. It was just random, right? So I burnt on a disc, because I knew we were going to this party. I burnt that, what is that that song by the, the Ying Yang Brothers, Wait Do You See My Dick? <laughs> it was just that song on the disc. And I remember we went up, I had to take a leak. I told my friend, I think it was my, my, my buddy VS. And we went upstairs and we pop open the CD carousel. And I popped this disc in. And I mean, I can remember it was like hours later. We're outside drinking and whatnot. And all of a sudden that song comes on. Wait till you see my dick. And everybody's like, what? <laughs> and there's always the ant. The ant that's like dancing to it. That song used to go, Where do you see my dick? Where do you see my dick? <laughs> it's the fucking best thing ever. And me and my buddies are fucking howling. Oh my Christ. So what are you gonna do? We got Gradius 1 and Gradius 2. What are you gonna do? You gotta have Gradius 3, but you ready for this? Gradius 3, side, it's double album. It's a double album. Side A, Super Famicom. Side B, Super Famicom. Wow. Side C, what do you mean side C? There's a side A and there's a side B. Arcade and side D, Arcade. Are you kidding me? This is a mammoth right here. Oh, oh. I wasn't going to do this because, quite frankly, I have everything set up downstairs. It's fucking 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't give a fuck. I'll be right back. Okay. Are you kidding me right now? Do you understand how much this setup reeks of class? Okay. Recent acquisition right here. Don't ask me how much it was and don't tell the wife. Whew. Look at this thing. Would you look at this thing? Are you ready for this? I gotta do it. Okay. Dun, dun, dun! Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't, I, I, I can't contain the hard on right now. Are you serious? You understand how much of work it was bringing this out here? Do you even understand? Right? Up and down the stairs? Three in the morning? You guys don't even know. Guys, how much does this setup reek of class? The only thing missing right now, I'll tell you something right now. The only thing missing right now. Here we go. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, I'm dehydrated. You gotta understand that this thing weighs like 55 pounds. You see the filter, look at the filter capacitor on this thing. It's like one of those, those fuel tanks that you see on the side of the interstate. I don't know if you can see it down there. Look at that thing. It should have like a winding ladder that goes up the side of it. Oh my god, she's beautiful, look at this. Isn't she beautiful? Ash, come Ming. Alright, here you go. This is the maiden voyage, guys. Oh, yeah. 
The maiden voyage. Sip of coffee for the maiden voyage. She's got look, she's got two ground. Let me tell you something. I even hooked up the ground wire. Look at this. She's got two grounds. One, two. Ah, ah she's gonna let him move. Here we go. Alright. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Let's crack this open. Let's crack this open. Moving this thing around is so stressful because number one, it weighs so much that it's like you feel like its own gravity can destroy itself. It's like when they catch those enormous grouper in Florida. You ever see this? They pull like a four. Pff, they're like 700 pound grouper. They catch it and they're not allowed to bring it on the boat because gravity, once the fish is on the boat, gravity can actually kill the fish. It's so massive. And it just doesn't have the strength to, to like keep itself together. It can be, it can, it can do it in the water, but not on the boat. So you're not allowed to bring the, the fucking fish onto the boat anymore. Anyhow, let's get this party started. All righty, what do we got in here? There we go. Look at that. What is that? The Vic Viper. Oh yeah, here you go. I got the whole story on the back there. What are you gonna do? Let's check this out. Oh, let's pit. Let's pit the the uh, Super Nintendo versus. Oh my God, Ice Vino. We'll pit the Super Nintendo up against the arcade. Here we go, Super Famicom. Here we go. I think we're on. Are we on? Volumes down. Phono. Balance. Treble. Two treble buttons, guys. Two bass buttons. Okay, speaker right. I don't hear any noises. This is good. Phono. Stereo. Yes. Yes. 33. Let's do this. What I think we'll do is we'll pick a random spot here. We'll hit it right on the mark. Here we go. Wait a second. Here we go. I'm letting you have it. Listen, you gotta understand something. You before the before Super Nintendo, you didn't hear drum samples like that. Maybe, maybe blazing lasers, this type of thing. Holy smoke! What? What was that? I gotta hear that. What was that? It's 
doesn't get any better, do you understand? <laughs> Famicom keeping it on, keeping you on your toes. Oh, oh, no question about it. I'm just checking to see if my microphone's fucking me tender. Let's go side two. One more Famicom, and we hop over to the arcade, and we'll see how that stacks up. Well, I'm over here flipping records like a pro. Let's go right to right here. Oh my god. I can nail that one. I can nail it. Baseline? Oh. Listen, it's, it's classic Radius. Come on. All right, let's see. Let's see what the arcade has. I really can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. All right. Let's put this one back. Sleep here. Oh my God, sometimes I think it's too good to be true. Okay, here's the arcade. I don't think I've ever heard Gradius 3 arcade music before. So, uh, let's check it out. <sighs> Tough act to follow. That's for sure. Tough act to follow. And I nailed it. <laughs>
pasty 2002. I don't care what you say. How are you going to... Listen, I don't know if you can hang with that, Super Nintendo. Woo! Woo! Wow. That is nice. Okay, what do we have here? That's like the continue countdown, right? All right. Wait a second here. Right here. Gradius right there. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Oh, here we go. You know Gradius, you know what we're dealing with right now. Here it comes. What a treat, huh? My Christ, what a treat. Okay. Boy, that was Gradius, guys. What a journey. What a journey. I think that the, the, the arcade version edges out the Super Nintendo version. Oh, what are we going to do? We're going to leave without playing this? Come on. I got to get my copyright strike for the day. You ready to hear bass guitar like you never heard it in your life? 
The scariest thing about this horror movie was the bass guitar. <laughs> Whoa. Looky here. Wow. Okay, beyond. Okay, we're going for the beyond. You ready for this? We got to spin it up to 45. Here we go. Tuning, tuning. Hold on. We're dead on 45. Here we go. What am I doing with my money? Is that the whole side? Hold on a second here. All right. <clears throat> That's one song on that side. What do we got here? question does vinyl burn if you put it in the fireplace okay um listen guys you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization and you better believe that with a 4k face We'll see you next time.